Okay, so I just shot a bunch of demo videos walking you through the iPad 2 and whatnot. So I've got my camera kit connector here, put in my SD card, plug it into my iPad 2, and bring up photos. It automatically goes into camera, and it brings up all my pictures I've taken on that SD card along with videos. So I'm just going to import a couple of videos in to show you how it works and whatnot, including pictures. So I'm going to, I, I had the option to either delete everything, import all, or I can select multiple things or multiple files to upload. So what I am going to do then is I'm going to select this picture. I am going to select this video, this video, and how about this video and maybe that's good for now and I'm going to show you how it looks like imported import selected and there it goes this video is already done this one's finished it's moving on to the next one And it's done. It asked me, would you like to delete import media from the attached camera? I want to keep it. So now I am going to go back to my photos. And basically there's the picture that I just took earlier for this review. From here I can edit. I mean, it's do whatever I want with it. Um, let's take a look at the video I just shot. So with the introduction of the iPad 2, Apple also released, uh, in addition to the smart cover, an HDMI out peripheral where you connect and sorry about that interruption. Uh, the three pin connector to the, the dock here and basically you can then connect through HDMI to your TV and it mirrors everything that you do on the iPad on your big screen TV. Pretty cool, huh? And so let's get out of there for now. The How about we bring up iMovie? And let's go to my projects. Start a new project here. I will go and select that video that we just shot. Now let's just do a quick one here to demo for you. Uh, 24 seconds. Actually, let's do a 1 minute and 13 second one. And there it is. From here, you can do title style. You can add location, uh, increase the volume. You can delete the clip if you want to. Uh, I'll walk you through how to use iMovie later. Uh, and, but the point of this is this video is I want to show you how easy it is to import or sideload videos that you've taken with your camera. In my case, I shot it with the GF2 and uh, how easy it is to get your media in without the requirement of a laptop. So there you have it. So in addition to being able to add clip settings such as title style, um, whether it's the opening, middle or ending, uh, location, volume, and whatnot. You can also, for the entire video itself, uh, select a theme. So either it's modern, bright, playful. Let's see, playful is here. Neon, travel, simple, news, and CNN re I report. So in this case, I am going to select modern. And do I want theme music on? No. That's fine. I'm going to add a quick text here. Test iMovie for iPad 2. And then once you know I'm happy with the video and whatnot, and also the other thing is if you wanted to granularly edit 
your videos. All you do is pinch and zoom, and it goes through frame by frame almost. And if you wanna bring it down, it's that easy. So when I'm done, I'll go to my projects, and then I can then share my movie to my camera roll, YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, CNN, iReport, or iTunes. In this case, I just want to simply export it to my uh, camera roll. So a minute video um, in 720 would probably take, I guess, would be about two minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's export to 720p to my camera roll. And then it's that easy to edit your videos and export it, share it, however you want to do it. So let's go ahead and see how long it takes. So it's about, it's been running for about five seconds, 10 seconds. See how long it takes for a little over a minute video to, to uh, export. Okay, it's copying the movie to the camera roll right now. That didn't take too long and it's done. So now if I bring up my gallery, there it is. So with the introduction of the iPad 2, Apple also released uh, in addition to the smart cover. That's it. Thanks for watching this segment of the uh, review for the iPad 2 um, using iMovie.